Now, let us see how the traits get expressed. So each trait is controlled by two genes. So what is a gene? Gene is a part of DNA. DNA is the genetic material. So where is this DNA present? It is present in the nucleus. So the DNA it consists of two genes for each character. See, we already know that we share the DNA from two different organisms, father and mother. So when you are sharing, you see that if the two genes that are controlling a single character are on the same DNA strand. Say for example, these are the two genes which are controlling the height. So here the parent is having two sets of chromosomes, two sets. One set is passed in the sexual reproduction. If a character, if the genes that controlling a character, if both the genes are on the same strand, if this strand is not passed, this strand is passed, then what happens? There are no genes which can control the, which can decide the height. Will it happen? No. See, the DNA will have two strands. But when the cell is about to divide, the DNA changes into chromosomes. So the genes, they become into two sets separate. Chromosomes become into two separate sets. So a character is expressed by two genes, but both the genes will not stay on the same strand. Even though a character is expressed by two genes, both the genes are not on the same strand of the DNA or both the genes are not found in the same chromosome. So one in one chromosome, one in one chromosome. Then only it is possible for the individual inheritance of the characters. Otherwise it is not possible. Okay. Now let us see how it is executed. The changes are executed. Say for example, here a character is inherited. What is that character? Tall. The boy should grow tall. So genes, they have carried the variation, carried the trait to the boy. Now the boy has to grow. How this is executed? The tallness is there in his genes. The instruction is there in his genes. He should grow tall. How it is executed? Let us see. The instruction is there in the gene of the boy that he should grow tall. Now this tallness, whatever the gene is there, the gene by using the cell apparatus, by using the cellular apparatus, mitochondria, cytoplasm, Golgi complex, especially the Golgi complex and all, it prepares a protein that is nothing but enzyme. So what enzyme it prepares? When it prepares? When the gene is having tall, it prepares more enzyme. So the DNA contains a gene which is responsible for the tallness of the boy. That gene it produces more enzyme. What does this more enzyme does? It produces more hormone. It is responsible for the production of more hormone. The more hormone is responsible for more growth. The boy grows tall. 6 feet, 6.2, 6.4 tall. Why some boys are growing tall? Because their gene is producing more protein which turns into more enzyme which converts more hormone, which prepares more hormone in the body, growth hormone. More growth hormone results in more growth. Say for example, the boy is having a gene which determines the height as short. So that gene, it will make less protein, less protein, less enzyme. So less hormone, so less growth. This is how the genes are linked to the final execution. So the genes will get the program. The DNA will have that complete program. DNA is nothing but the set of genes. So many traits are there. So many characters are there. 
so we have so many characters of course all the characters are not seen externally see here uh, we we find some kind of uh, differences and similarities between your friends you might be observing in your classroom if you compare with your friends there you will find some differences in the skin complexion in the hair color in the pupil color in the nose pattern and uh, in your uh, ears ear endings ear lobes some are attached some are free so the height height differences even though they are of same age your is is 15 their age is 15 even though they are taller than you they may be shorter than you so likewise you find so many differences at the same time you find some similarities they will be having two eyes you have two eyes they have 10 fingers you have 10 fingers they have 10 toes you have 10 toes two legs two legs likewise similarities differences all this happens because of the genes they acquire from their parents but every character every trait is expressed by two genes that is what we have to learn here and here how it is expressed there so why some people are dark so again the gene the gene it prepares a substance called melanin if the gene is preparing more melanin more melanin leads to darkness of the skin if the gene is preparing the proteins which will produce less melanin so less protein is prepared by the gene gene less melanin less melanin means fair skin so people if they have less melanin or no melanin they have very fair skin melanin content is less if melanin content is more they have darker complexion so the darkness or fairness is decided by what by the amount of substance melanin who decides the substance of melanin it should be high or low it is decided by some enzyme who will decide that the enzyme should be produced more or less it is decided by your genes so gene is the final one who decide how much amount of substances and hormones are to be produced depending upon the amount of hormones produced the changes takes place in our body so the characters are expressed the traits are expressed out because of this connection between gene to enzyme to hormone to final execution or expression so this is the connection